From the KPSP Local 2 Studios, this is the Valley's premier arts and entertainment program. KPSP Local 2's Eye on the Desert. Good evening and thanks for joining us this weekend here on Eye on the Desert on KPSP Local 2. I'm Patrick Evans, your host. There's a lot of stuff going on this weekend. Coachella Fest is happening. Of course, when Coachella arrives, the warm weather arrives along with it. That's going on. We've got a great event for the American Cancer Society here in the desert. That will take place tomorrow. A play at IPAC that you'll want to see and all kinds of things going on at Fantasy Springs Resort Casino. We'll get you caught up on all of that. But first tonight, I want to tell you about a group of guys. They call themselves the Wise Guys. Our country, and our valley in particular, has always had a love affair with the idea, not the reality, but the idea of the mafia and well, the guys supposedly associated therewith. From the Godfather to the Sopranos, wise guys are fun to have around. Playing on that image, a group of completely legitimate businessmen have put together their own version of the wise guys, and I spent some time with them this week. The setting, Trelusa Restaurant in Cathedral City, a classic Italian dining venue that speaks to the old country in all of us. Witness the music. The food. But in the back room, the proprietor, Sam Pachi, and his fellow wise guys hold court. Hopefully we created an atmosphere that you're coming to my home, my house for dinner. So if you get, if, you know, if you feel that way, you come here, you feel at home, you feel relaxed, you enjoy, uh, you take your time, we talk, we, we kiss, we, you know, we have a wonderful time. And Vince Guccione says it's not just for fun, there's a serious philosophy behind the striped suits and Italian accents. Two things. We love tradition, family, the way things used to be. It's not that way anymore. We want to we wanted to promote it. Not not actually promote it. I wanted to live my life that way. It has nothing to do with the wise guys that you see on TV. It has to do with the fact that the values that we have, the values that we cherish, family, tradition, the way things used to be. Of course, they're not just marketing image either. Thanks to the kosher member of the group, Ofer Gabriel, who was Mr. Israel in the 1980s. Well, now he works as a personal trainer to the stars. Think the governor and old blue eyes. But he also developed a line of colognes aimed at maintaining the image of grace, class, and elegance that the wise guys are known for. And there was a beautiful fragrance. The first one was born, it was the OG original. And uh, I gave it to a few people. And they were wearing it, and suddenly I get response. One of the stores was Desmond's, the other one was Sam's store, and, and his friends. And I was getting calls. I said, calls for what? This is really like your fragrance. Do you have, do you have some more bottles? I had, I had nothing left at the time. So then I had to go and produce the real deal. In addition to the colognes and the gatherings at Trelusa and just having fun together, the group gets the occasional gig, like the one they recently played at the Vintage Club. Uh, OG and I were what we call in the business meet and greet. Oh, how are you? Have a good time, blah, blah, blah. 600 people. So when you see the boys on the street, say hello and watch out. They'll make you an offer you.